All right, so I just want to go over a couple things um, before I start this. You obviously at your throttle cable that you need to disconnect. Uh, you need to make sure that's clear before you start pulling this engine away. And then my wiring harness, um, everything is pretty much coming from right here. I know there's different setups and voltage regulator. Some of, them, some of the years are inside, not back here and all that crap. So um, I'm going to pretty much retain everything that's connected and just make sure that it's in that disconnected from the car. So get rid of that. And then you got this cable running over here. We'll disconnect that. Um, also, I'm going to have to disconnect my uh, fresh air tubes. Um, so that I can get this panel off. You've just got a few screws in this panel uh, That way when you do disconnect the engine you can push the engine towards us um, And I have that, that uh, piece of sheet metal in the way uh, And after finished doing that then I'll go over the four bolts mounting to the transmission and then you also have the uh, fuel line that's connected and I am just going to probably disconnect it in the back I don't know if you could see it but uh, on the other side of that uh, rear sheet metal uh, 10 there'll be a, a gas connection for this model this setup and I'll disconnect it from there uh, and just leave everything up here hooked up but that should be about it uh, back here if I forget something I'll I'll cover it again all right, coming off the left side here, uh, you can see the fuel line coming out there. You get the fuel filter on this one right here. Um, but I, that's where I'm going to disconnect it. This is the, the that sheet metal that uh, you can see on the back side of the engine from the engine compartment. Um, I'm going to put a, bunch, a couple of uh, clamps on there to kind of keep that fuel from running all over the place. But yeah, uh, disconnect that. Here. You can see the one mounting bolt. The transmission right there. Oh crap, I pointed the wrong thing. It's right there next to the clutch cable. Right there. So that's an area too. I gotta take these uh, janky <laughs> um, <laughs> fresh air vents uh, going to the cabin of the car off right here. And then also you got the cable for each side coming off the lever that opens and closes it. So don't forget that. Um, I think that is it, except for the main four bolts. All right, so I borrowed my friend's uh, transmission uh, jack. Um, I'm using some wood, just kind of make the area a little bit bigger. But I'm just gonna right now. I'm, I'm gonna have a little bit of pressure on it, nothing crazy. Um, and then I am going to start loosening those uh, four mount bolts. So coming from the passenger side, you can, you can see a lot better um, the two bolts. You got the one right here for the passenger side and then the other one's on the other side of the block. All right, so theoretically, everything's good. Uh, cool thing uh, about this engine, it was hanging on by three instead of four. So. You know, try to grab onto the exhaust. You know, if it doesn't budge at all, try to give it a little bit of up. You know, pushing up on the engine for the jack. All right, well, so that was a little bit of a pain. Um, so I ended up having to kind of tip it down uh, to get it clear of the the back two studs, uh, the two mounts to the transmission transaxle. Um, so now I'm just going to lower it down slowly and again make sure that that gas uh, throttle cable is already pulled all the way out of this just make sure you're not catching on anything all right so I'm going to jack this car up pretty high to get uh, get this thing out from underneath it, but that's a disadvantage of having uh, not having a removable apron. Mine is completely welded solid, and I'm not about to start cutting into that thing. So, all right, all right. So now that I've got the uh, engine apart from the transaxle, I'm going to jack up the back end of the car 
uh, to where the rear apron's about 26 inches off the ground. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go from there. Uh, I've got some bottle jacks that I'm gonna use to uh, get the engine down to the ground so I can carefully scoot it on the concrete out from underneath the park. All right, there it is. I've already dropped it down a little bit more. I don't like it that high. Uh, that way, me personally, I'm about to start taking the transmission or transaxle as well. Good times. Um, so it's at a safer height for that. But uh, if you got any questions, um, just let me know. Put it in the comments and I'll, I'll respond back as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks guys.